Hello everybody and welcome to the Daily Review, episode number 275 for Monday, January 4th, 2010. It is 2010, everyone. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get used to saying that at the beginning of these videos, but uh, Happy New Year to you all. I hope you guys all had a fun and safe one. Uh, and, and to ring in the new year, the first film that I will be reviewing for you guys today is a documentary, and that's, that's a very rare thing for me to say because I don't really watch too many documentaries, but this documentary is definitely one worth talking about, and it's called The Cove. Uh, the Cove is a documentary uh, about this group of people uh, headed by a guy named Rick Barry, who is, is a guy who used to be on the TV show Flipper, uh, and he used to train dolphins and stuff since then, He's kind of realized the error of his ways, I guess you could say, and he's he's been tr kind of an animal rights activist and trying to, you know, help dolphins out of captivity. He's been arrested numerous times for doing such things. He's banned from meetings and things like that because of the things he does and says. And they head out to this place in Japan, this small place called Taiji, Japan, which supposedly uh, at this small cove in this area. They are slaughtering 23,000 dolphins a year. Uh, what they're basically doing is holding these dolphins in captivity. Some go on to train to become the dolphins you know and love at like places like SeaWorld, things like that. Others get slaughtered um, and you know fed to, to kids as dolphin meat, but it's disguised as something else. They sell it in supermarkets disguised as something else, and they're doing scientific research on them, which is total BS, but that's obvious from the get-go. Um, the Cove is an extremely interesting film, and I, I think a, as a movie, it's an extremely interesting movie, but it is also very informative, and it's, it kind of opens your eyes to a part of the world that you may have never heard of before. Um, the, the stuff in this movie is truly heartbreaking, I think. I mean, most of the film revolves around Rick O'Berry and his team trying to get in to this cove somehow to get, to get film of what these people are doing to the dolphins, and and the whole film kind of plays out almost as like a heist type movie uh, because all their little missions happen at night. There's like night vision cameras, these secret military cameras that detect pulses, things like that. And it's all very interesting and very entertaining. But as well as being extremely interesting and extremely t entertaining, it's very informative. And, and it's some of the stuff to see in this film is really hard to watch. Um, but I think it's something people need to check out in order to be informed about what's going on. Um, there's a scene kind of in the middle of this film just to give you an idea and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into spoilers for the end of this film as far as what happens but there's there's a scene where they're all at this beach which is the one place you could be you can't go past this certain area and they're at this beach and and they see one of the like baby dolphins that got away and you can just see like a trail of blood following it uh, where it's swimming and and it's trying to come up out of the water and, and trying to save itself, but it, it eventually dies, and it's, it's really sad to watch. Um, I myself don't really, I mean, I'm not a vegetarian at all or anything, um, and I think no matter what side of the spectrum you fall on, animal rights activists couldn't care less about that sort of thing, or just right in the middle. I think it's a film that, that has mass appeal, and it's not extremely one-sided enough for people to be like, oh, this is, you know, this is just a guy preaching his his thoughts to us, like some people think of Michael Moore, um, or most people I guess you would say. Uh, but it's it's a movie that people can watch and obviously be like, this is wrong, something needs to be done about it. It's a movie I highly recommend people to check out. Uh, I give The Cove a four and a half out of five. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll be back tomorrow with another one for you.